Ladies and gentlemen, you know who I am. I am Glermit. I am apparently the Fleet King. No, guys, forget that. That's Lord of Hunger memeing or something. Anyways, guys, in today's video, we are actually going to be covering something that you may be interested in. So, Grievous Androidica in Territory War is still a menace, and it's been many, many months. And there's still not that many videos out there for you guys to watch on how to beat it. So, what I've done here is I've got three teams that are going to be beating Grievous with Droidica Omicron in TW at the higher relics, going from easy to a little bit complicated to a team that does require higher relics and hopefully there is a team included here that does work but if there's not make sure to go check out the video linked in the description because that is also another counter that does work relatively easily and without very high gear okay guys so we are running um padme with gideon here now um the relic levels i will pause on here so you guys can see so we have Relicate Padme, which is Journey Guide event required. Uh, then Relic 5 Echo, Relic 5 Tech, Relic 7 Shakti, Relic 5 Gideon. The only Relic character here that is not required at Relics for any reason is Gideon. You do not need him at Relics for this, but there is something that you need to take into account, and that is your Gideon needs to be one speed slower than Echo. Obviously, it doesn't have to be exact, but the closer you are to that one speed below, the better. And you'll see why once the counter starts. So, um, their relic levels are also relic five, six, sevens. It's not looking too bad here, guys. The first opening you're going to do is you're going to remove buffs. This is so important, guys. You remove the stealth, you then target B2, and you then control the situation, right? And that is going to remove their terminator. It's not going to proc B2. And then you can just go forward and one shot with courage. And that's all this counter is. This works at lower gear because, guys, remember, courage is based on the opponent's max health. It's, uh, every five stacks is, what, like 40% of their max health. So this is a really good way to go. Obviously, someone did meme in the in the comments here and say, hey, we're we going to see a protection GG meta and coming. I mean, if it did, it would kind of cause issues. So do make sure to check uh, these stats before you go in. Is it health based, protection based? Obviously, the health based GGs are going to be a lot easier to beat. So as I said, the only thing here, guys, is making sure Echo is one speed faster at minimum um, than Gideon and that you don't control the situation on anyone other than B2. If this is the other way around, this is just RNG because you, you strip the turn meter and then B2 may proc and then just dispel the protection up. So as long as you do that, it's fine. And as I said, guys, this works at lower gears. So you should have no issue. Like if you're not facing high, high relics with lots of data crons, you should be absolutely fine uh, to just run like, you know, gear eight, nine of this team. And you should be able to punch up to gear 12 relic one. Jim or Grievous with Jordica. This is honestly a really, really easy counter and one you guys should be using. Okay, guys, so moving on to the second counter included in this video, we have Darth Revan versus General Grievous. I bought Malgus here. You do not need Malgus here. It does not change the outcome. You just need Darth Revan, Malik, Bastler, and then just whoever you want. And basically, all it's going to come down to is Darth Revan death marking General Grievous and making your life so much easier. As you can see here, the relic levels on the opposing team is relic 7, 5, 5, 5, 5, the Omicron. There's also a bulk cron here. I have relic 7, 7, 3, 9, and 6. Like I said, guys, you do not need high relics on anyone, really. I mean, you can do this with low relic DR, low relic Malgus, and Bastards on CR3. That's not high relics here, guys. Uh, data crons, they do help, but it doesn't really make a difference. Death mark is not going to uh, be stopped here. So you're, you're going to be fine for killing Grievous. And I bought Malgus, but you don't need to bring him. You can save him. You may be using him on defense. You may be using him somewhere else. I don't know. That's up to you guys and your TW officers to decide. So moving into the battle, guys, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is you're just going to patiently wait it out until you can death mark general grievous now he gets death marked the first time any character falls below 50 percent health so you just target down b2 try and get them down as quick as possible putting some fears out there to slow them down and malgus does help first he speeds it up but again you don't really need him here uh, so you go ahead and eventually he will be death marked and as soon as he is 
you just go in and Revan should kill Grievous. Once this happens, you can't really lose from this point on. There is always a possibility, guys, that you do time out on DDK if they go into damage immunity. But as long as you time it with Malix, this spell, which is the middle ability, you should be absolutely fine. This is a pretty straightforward counter. And one that I think a lot of you can run because a lot of you do have DR. Now the question is, do you want to take DR off defense? Again, this is a question for you guys and your TW officers to decide. Um, this is a counter and this is the idea of this video guys I'm trying to give you some different teams because I know that some of these teams may be included in our defensive strategy so I want to give you all a team you can use um, effectively all of these teams do work obviously this is the easier one the first one was the one that was a bit mod dependent and the next team is one that's maybe a bit relic dependent but it is one that I've done three or four times now with very very good success um, and again, you're looking at 19 to 20 banners on each of these teams. So if you are someone who is a bit of a banner, banner god, and you just want insane banners for your teams, then this is the way to go, guys. So moving on to the last team here, guys, we do have our favorite character in the game, Young Han, Young Lando, and the crew. <laughs> now, just to start, guys, I know I have crazy high relics. I know I've got relics 7, 9, 9, 9, and 7. Soon to be 9, guys. I haven't forgotten about L3 to R9 for the 2k subs goal. It's coming in the next couple of weeks. But all I want to say is the mechanics of the team means this will still work. I would say if you are someone who has taken one for the team and you have taken Young Han and the crew to relic 5, um, for TB because they are actually required for a lot of the missions um, Young Han, Young Lando, L3 are all required for special missions, Vandals require for special missions and Dash you're probably going to have an R5 to R7 because of Star Killer profundity. So if you've invested in this team or just a Dash team in general you don't have to run Dash, Young Han, Young Lando, L3 but I would definitely say Dash, Vandor and then insert tank at IG11 is good L3 is good and then Young Han's good best guy. you could I mean you can mix it up but this is the team I use I know I have higher relics but you'll see the mechanics of the battle mean that it's pretty easy because guys if you didn't know Vandor Chewy he is gonna run when he has prepared he's going to be reviving his team now outside of Grand Arena it's a bit difficult because he doesn't always have prepared but whenever another enemy is damaged, he recovers protection. And when he recovers, recovers protection to max protection, he then gains prepared. Now, because the Grievous team has so many AoEs, he's basically always going to be prepared. It's a bit like the Phasma counter that I posted a while back, link in the description if you're interested in Phasma counters. And it's kind of similar because there's so many AoEs, Vandor's always going to have prepared. And if he has prepared, the team revives. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't think you need the high relics on anyone other than Vandal. I would say aim for relic 5, maybe relic 6 um, at a minimum, just because he is worth the higher relics here, guys. I don't know if this is going to work with gear 12. That's for you guys to test. Like I said, this counter here is a little bit more gear dependent, but it's one that especially you uh, high-end gamers who have been following the channel and invested in the, uh, the, <laughs> the smuggler team you may have the team up and running. And like I said, guys, look at how much protection Vandor is recovering. Uh, even here, it may seem like he's not gonna have prepared and then all of a sudden L3 takes the hit for the team and you're all good. So the kill order is going to be Magna Guy, just get him out, then B2, then we're gonna work on the rest of them. I think we've got B1, Droid of Kirk, Grievous. Whatever you do, guys, do not go for Grievous before Droidica, please. Because if you do, Grievous will mark Droidica and you will kill Droidica and Droidica will revive the whole team. So just make sure you don't kill, don't kill Grievous uh, before Droidica. Uh, now I actually lose a banner here because I get greedy and do the big hit from Vandal. That actually takes away Prepared. If you don't know how the team works, uh, they gain Prepared and they also lose Prepared whenever they use special abilities. So it is kind of better to hold off there, uh, but you can see in the end it's pretty easy. Also shout out to Young Han and Lando hitting like gods today. 150k's, 180k, they don't care, they just hit really hard. And this is not a bad counter, guys. So, like I said, this one's a bit more gear dependent. But if you have the team up and running for TB or just because you like them, this is an option. So, guys, hopefully one of these teams today is useful to you guys. Like I said, there is another team. I've already made a video on it. I'll link it in the description. So there are four teams in total. 
um, that I would recommend. There are more, but these are the ones I'd recommend you guys go out there and farm and use and utilize in your TW to be beating those Droidica Omicrons. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a glowing day.